Before you begin, assemble the following materials. Powder-free latex gloves. A bottle of dry compressed air. Begin with the cube completely disassembled, with all of the parts laid out on the work area. Assemble the dichroic portion of the cube first. To begin, orient the main portion of the cube with the exciter side facing to the left. Next, determine the reflective or coated side of the dichroic for proper orientation in the cube. If the dichroic has a small linear mark or inscription in one or both corners, the reflective coating side is facing you when the long side of the dichroic is vertical and the mark is in the lower right or upper left corner. If the dichroic does not have any marks, lay the filter flat on a clean white surface and look at the far edge of the glass. If the edge is not easily distinguishable through the top side of the filter, the reflective or coated side is up. If the edge appears white or uncolored, the uncoated or anti-reflective side is up. Place the dichroic inside the cube onto the slanted surface with the reflective coated side facing down. Then place the spring clip over the dichroic with the raised bend upward. Insert the dichroic retainer into the cube until the slanted edge meets the spring clip. Align the retainer with the spring clip and gently press downward until the retainer tabs click into place. If the dichroic appears dusty, you may blow off the dust at this point using clean compressed air. With the emitter housing lying on the table with the locking lever on one side facing upward, place the emitter filter inside the emitter mounting hole with the arrow on the side of the filter pointing upward. Insert the filter retaining ring over the emitter with the knurled side facing upward. Begin screwing the retaining ring clockwise, but be careful to avoid cross-threading. If the ring will not turn, it is not threaded properly. Slowly screw the ring a partial turn counterclockwise until you feel the threads click into place, and then commence screwing in the clockwise direction. Tighten the ring snugly against the emitter filter. Next, position the emitter housing over the dichroic retainer such that the two locating tabs on the emitter housing fit into the holes in the cube. Squeeze the locking lever inward and press down on the emitter housing to lock it into place. The exciter retaining ring has two parts, an inner ring and a threaded collar. Place the inner ring tabs into the slots of the collar. Using the compressed air, blow any remaining dust from inside the cube. Orient the exciter filter with the arrow pointing towards the cube and place it into the exciter mounting area of the cube. Thread the retaining ring over the filter and tighten gently. Using compressed air, blow off all the exposed filter surfaces. Your cube is now ready to be inserted into your microscope.